Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. First of all, today I will explain the relationship between interest rates and inflation. And these short videos will be part of a mini series about basic economics. If you're maybe in high school, university, or just interested in general, these videos will help you grasp the basic principles of economics. Also, after this video, you will understand why interest rates are so low everywhere in the world. The basic definition of inflation is the rate at which prices for goods and services rise and the basic definition of the interest rate is the amount charged by the lender to the borrower. These rates are influenced by the central banks like the Fed in the US or the ECB in Europe and makes them able to use monetary policy. By targeting an interest rate, they can expand our contract, the money supply, and this ultimately has its effect on economic growth, inflation, and employment rates. Let me explain using the pandemic. As economies were shutting down and lockdowns were forming, unemployment was rising and people were unable to spend their money, which led to a decline in economic growth and falling prices. To stimulate the economy, all the central banks decreased the interest rates and some even went negative. The reason is because low interest rates enables people to borrow money more cheaply. Now they have more money to spend, which increases the supply of money. When people have more money to spend, there is more demand Q2. So the demand curve shifts upwards to D2, which means firms have an incentive to raise the prices to P2 when supply remains the same, which stimulates the economy. So now the economy is growing again, which means there is more demand for labor and this increases the employment rate. To summarize this, lower interest rates means more spending, more spending means more economic growth with higher prices, and more economic growth means more employment. This entire reasoning of course also works the other way around, when our starting point is an overheating economy with higher prices. Now, central banks set higher interest rates, which means it's more attractive to save, this means less demand, a decreasing economic growth, and dropping prices and higher unemployment. Now of course this is the theory, and in practice it does not always work 100%, but it's a pretty good instrument of the central banks to influence the economy. At the moment I'm recording this video, inflation is getting really high. So now the central banks are thinking about increasing the interest rate. In conclusion, inflation and interest rates are inversely correlated. The general rule is when inflation is high, the central banks will most of the time set the interest rate high and this causes inflation to decrease. When inflation is low, the central banks want to stimulate the economy and will set the interest rate low, and this increases inflation. Thanks for listening. Leave recommendations in the comment section below if you want me to explain other things about economics. See you around.